morning wieners. It's cracking wieners. Getting a little sleep sleeps. Yeah. Getting some sleep sleeps. Oh. oh my gosh. You probably can still see the sleep in my eyes from that angle. It's day number two on our little Senski. If you didn't watch yesterday's video, you don't need to. It's fine, but if you want to, I'll leave a link down below. I'm out here with my good buddy Rackley, fishing partner, mi amigo, whatever you want to call him. We actually uh, kicked it to top bunk last night in the old camper. Caleb's down there all comfy, and uh, we actually got some really good sleep. Something about waking up in the camper, literally a stone's throw away from the water. I don't know if you guys can see this, but the lake is real, literally right there. This is one of the reasons why we, we set out on the camper, is to make life easier as an angler. Nothing worse than having to stay in an Airbnb that's like 20 minutes away, and then having to portage back and forth, and do all that kind of BS. This is so nice. Boat's already hooked up, everything's ready to go. We're actually gonna cook some breakfast, get ready, and uh, have you guys join us on just a day of fishing. This video is not clickbaity, there's nothing like freaking proprietary about this video. This is just strictly a video for those of you that want to watch a day out in the water. Basically, we want to bring you guys in the boat with us as if you were fishing with us today. So, without further ado, I'm gonna get the sleep out of my eyes, gonna have some coffee, gonna eat some bacon, some eggs, and after that, I'm gonna crank some fish. Stay close, stay tuned, and let's have a day. We are making, Never mind. it doesn't matter what we're making. Fire doors going off. Nice. It's a little rowdy in here. Nice. It smells great though. Thanks, man. I uh, see the remnants of some tequila drinkings last night next to our bacon. There was a bit of that going on, yes. I think I had one drink and I was done. Couldn't go too hard. Is that the old, uh, yep. Yeah. Sounds like there's a fire. Got a fire going on. For use. I don't know if you guys saw one of our latest videos, but we basically uh, strapped some Apple Pro Vision VR goggles to our head and um, kind of filmed the video in the tune of fishing is becoming less of a enjoyable pastime and more of like an analytical, technological thing that you do to try to catch big fish. And while I was pretty intrigued and infatuated with the whole video, I, I was really trying to send a message and that message being, this is what fishing's all about. It's about waking up, in a state park campsite right at the water's edge, cooking a little bit of breakfast, having some eggs, having some jalapeno bacon, maybe making some brekkie tacos. And then just kind of slowly making your way out in the water, having some fun, spending time with good friends too. I always love fishing with Rackley. He's a great guy, he's a fishy dude, and he's just down for the hang. That's what's important about fishing. It's all about the hang. If you're not really soaking up the experience and you're putting too much time in it, just like, how can I get the biggest fish? Like, I just need the biggest fish right now. And chances are you're missing a lot of the elements that make fishing so great. So I just figured I'd say that because a lot of people genuinely thought that I was petitioning for um, everyone to get a, a, a Garmin Neuralink installed in their head, which was not the case. Even if that does ever happen, that's fine. That's your choice. It's a free, free world. That's what's beautiful about America is if you want to put a freaking chip in your head, go ahead. Or if you want to just do a little glamping at a state park and go fishing three hours from waking up, then... By all means, do that too. B-Y-O-T, build your own tacos. There's a spider or something in my shirt right now. Breakfast tacos, baby, the, the Texas way. Jalapeno bacon, cheesy eggs, a little bit of that Louisiana hot sauce and some hatch green chili salsa. I might start a little bit of a debate in the comment section, but Louisiana hot sauce might be my favorite. Crystal, up there too. Texas Pete, that's a winner. I don't like Cholula, I don't like Chipotle. I don't like. Oh no, what's the other one? Tabasco. I don't like Tabasco. I don't like. I don't like Cholula. What's another one I don't like? There's a couple I just refuse to eat. I don't know what it is about them, but they're not my speed. But this is my go-to. That or, or Crystal and Texas Pizza. Another another good one. You can always rely on on those to be pretty freaking solid. Oh my goodness. Favorite hot sauce, Rackley. My favorite hot sauce, Cholula. Like go-to standard. I think it's disgusting. Why? I don't know. It's just got like a weird, like limey, lemony, like zesty taste. I like a little zest. I think it's the tomato. They have a lot of tomato in that's there. That's probably yeah. Um, but that's my go-to. Louisiana's not bad. Yeah. I love Louisiana on fish. Fish. Yeah. A little bit of, a little bit of pêche. Comment down below. What's the what's the best hot sauce out there nationwide? Well, I'm already go gonna to. get like absolutely crucified for saying Louisiana sucks. Yeah, 
You ought to. It's How about it? It's the best on eggs, in my opinion. Is this free and legal? Yeah. Thank you. So everything's looking good on here, right? We're good to go. I think we're set. We had brekkie. We had our morning stretch. Hit the water. First cast of the day. Just look at this. This just feels like a fishy moment. We're gonna be throwing a lot of a lot of different things. So that's the beauty of springtime fishing is you can you can get on quite a few different types of bites no matter what lake you're fishing. This lake we're fishing today is completely new. I've never been here before. It sets up nicely. It's basically a part of like a river system and uh, the water's fairly clean. If I'm not fishing clean water, I like fishing like the dirt, like in the back of a creek, like super muddy where fish are trying to get warm in that uh, super dirty water. And in that case, I'm throwing a chatterbait or flipping. But today we're gonna be doing a lot of different things. We're gonna be throwing some, some new Guggen baits, some lures we're working on. I think we'll be dropping next month. This right here is the pinner worm. In yesterday's video, we absolutely terrorized them on this worm, doing a little Nico style. We'll talk about that today too, if you didn't get a chance to watch the video we previously posted. Might throw some big swimmers too. Got a couple glides, maybe do some flipping, maybe do some sight fishing. It's like such a weird contrast. Like I've got a giant glide tied up and the other rod and the only other rod I have in my boat is a little tiny worm. But both excel this time of year, so it's important to kind of be bop between the two techniques. Oh, I just got hit. Oh God. Good one. Here we go. What the hell is oh that? Oh my gosh. Is, is that a bow fin? What is that? What is it? Catfish. Catfish. Dude, catfish what? up there spawning. Look at what that. Look at that, buddy. What the hell? Oh my God. I'm not sure I've ever done that before. <laughs> is that a blue? I think it's a big chat. Uh, it is a blue. It is a blue. Is it a blue? John Look at that B. worm. Whacking up. <laughs> whacking up kitties, baby. Time for a retie. <laughs> well, first catch of the day is very unexpected. Uh, I believe this is a blue, blue catfish. Look at that. Caught that fish in a foot of water with a Nico rig. Ooh! Hooked up on another cat. Here another cat, you think? Big cats. Oh, it's, it's a, a bass. bass. <laughs> that is quite a wild first start of the oh, day. Oh, good one. It is a good one. <laughs> this is funny. This is hilarious. Yeah, in the boat. In the boat. This is um, my first ever catfish largemouth shallow water duo here. <laughs> That's pretty funny, man. That's wild. That's when you know everything's spawning. Yeah, everything's shallow. Everything's chasing that warm water. I'm going to get this guy back. See you later, kitty. Thanks for stopping my heart. I thought it was a big bass at first. That had to have felt giant. It felt giant. <laughs> Good start to the day, I guess. <laughs> oh my goodness. I've so had cool. them hit spinner baits and stuff, but never a wacky one. Never a wacky in two feet of water. That's a first. All right, sure. we're gonna let this guy go. First fish of the day. <sighs> Love to see it. See it. Ooh. Ooh, right there. Here we go. Oh, nice good one. one. Now you need help? This is a good one, That's buddy. a good one. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a good fish, bro. <laughs> Got ourselves a tasty one here, oh, boys. Yeah. Oh, and I never retied, so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna take her easy. Oh, got some fiends good. moving up. Good. <clears throat> I haven't really oh, got a good no. look at it yet. Yeah, it's so dark. I know. I'm not sure it's even ready. Oh yeah. Oh nice god. Nice. That's actually like a big one. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> we are catching pigs, boy! That's a good one, brother. Uh, Big squirters. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. That's awesome. God, I love it, dude. I gotta love it. Look at that, perfectly hooked. This is a, he's an animal. Look at that, perfectly in the schnoz. Lunker log fish. That's just a nice female. Coming up to do her thing, baby. Great breakfast. Great morning, with Mr. John P. And a great fish right there. Damn. Mm. Let's let this beautiful fish go. Back into the grass.
Maybe John's got a giant that's right decent. now. That's decent. That's a pretty good one. I see a pink worm in that. its mouth too. Pink worm in his mouth. Pink worm in his mouth. Man, they go hard. They can't go down, so they just have to go out. There we go. There we go. Just super healthy, frothy super fish. Super healthy, frothy one. Not done yet. There we go. God, what a fish, dude. My first bass, of the, first bass of the day, not my first bite. Nice two pounder, though. Good start for me, a catfish and a two pounder. <laughs> not the do I expected the first thing in the morning, but we will take it. Thank you, bub. Good in. Good in. They should be rubbing each other. Oh, I got one. It feels so small. My favorite is just the bunk and then slack. 10 pounder. Yeah, exactly. I think that's small, about the same size. I think it's a different one. Different fish. Dude, dude. Oh! God, I didn't bring my net, My dude. camera's not even rolling. I'm just enjoying it. <laughs> dude, I didn't bring my net. I didn't bring my net. I got him. I got him. Oh, I can't even get him. Time to drag down on this sun. Here we go. Well, there's one back here. Oh, there's two back here. Are we doubled? We doubled. Mine does not feel very big. But a good, good bend in the spinning rod is it's fun. Double login. Double login. Making Lincoln logs out here. We're catching them on Zoom. Mm -hmm. Bit of a slow start for us today. Or for me, I guess. Rackley's already caught like 15 fish. This is only my second bass. But uh, I was also gun ho on a little bit different. Yeah, I went straight to the program with the log. Login. Shallow water login. See ya. Log on. Log on. Log on to googlesquad.com and get you some logs. Yeah, there's more beds now. What's that? I said there's more beds now. It's cleaner water. All the way, yeah, the clean water's key, isn't it? Hiya! Payow! No! Well, this one's not bad, dude. This one's not bad at all. Oh, yeah. Got a good one. There you go. Oh, gosh. That's a big nice one, buddy. Nice one. Nice one. Reckon I doubled. I got a, finally a decent bass. I swear it's not a catfish. Oh. Gotta get that like stance. I yeah, like. yeah. There it is, like a little putt stance, like you're putting. Look at that chunk. Let me throw him back. Oh, Look at this one here. Not bad. Hi twos. I don't think you'd fling him here. I'm not gonna fling this one. I don't think. Oh, nice little acrobatics before inevitably being grabbed by the sloth himself. And just like that, I lose him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh. <clears throat> Out here having fun. Shallow bite continues. Wasn't as hot as the other day that we were fishing, which was yesterday, but I mean, they're still up here. Nice little hefty, almost three pounder. Man, I just can't get over how like healthy these specimens are. Perfect fish, very green. This is uh, the result of good management here in Texas. We have a pretty good program where a lot of our money spent towards state parks and fishing license gets reinvested back into these fisheries. and. You get gorgeous bass like this, and much bigger too. Later. Homie spunked that on sight. Mm. On the old lunker log. This is what we're catching them on. Yesterday we were throwing the pinner worm, which I don't think, oh yeah, right here. Yesterday we were throwing the pinner worm, which is, I've said a hundred times, but this new straight tail 5.5 inch worm. This bait has a little bit less salt than the lunker log, so it's not gonna sink as fast and it's more buoyant, which makes it good for drop shots and shaky head fishing. But lunker logs pack full of salt, which is essential for you know any wacky style bait to sink down there and have that kind of slow quivering action. If you guys wanna pick up some lunker logs, it's the season. Check the link down below, use my code, John B. Save 10% off your entire freaking order at checkout. There you have it, lunky log, it's lunky log season. We got a thing. That would just piss off a 10 pounder, wouldn't it? Oh good one. gosh, that feels nice. Oh God, it is. It's a really nice one. Oh dude. gosh, it's a, really nice it's a one, big bro. one, bro. It's a really big one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Good call. I almost moved too. That's the biggest fish of the trip, right there. It's a big. Oh, big this, one is this is what I live for. This is what I live for. Oh gosh, six pounder all day. Six pounder for sure. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Look at that old face. 
Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Of course. Cool. <laughs> nice fish, brother. Woo! That main lake junk. Main lake, dude. That's what we were saying. <sighs> we were like, that's awesome. Let's just keep doing what we're doing here. Let's just move a little more main lake. See if the bigger ones are up there. Because we'd been fishing little creek arms all morning. And yes, sir. That'd be the one. The, doing the exact same thing, just different location. I That's love that. A bagging. That's a nice fish, guys. Mm -mm -mm. We will now release this fish with a sniff. Mm. Mm. How's she smell? Girthy. Oh, big head. Yeah. See, uh. Just a big headed ninny muggins. Oh, I love it. Thank you, Lunker Log. Thank you very much. Welcome back to Tips Tactile. Tip, tips, tips, and welcome back to Tips, Tricks, and Tips and Tricks with John B. What we're going to talk about right now is something that a lot of you guys forget to do, myself included, and that is going back to the basics, fishing what a lot of us grew up fishing with. That being the simple stuff, like a wacky worm. Now, if you're not familiar with the wacky worm, if you need reminding, this is probably one of the best ways to catch fish in the springtime. I have vivid memories of me as a child hopping on my bike after school, using the remaining two hours of daylight of the northern March season, biking on down to the local pond, heading to one of the little creeks and fishing from the bank and using a, a, a Gary on Moto Senko. It was like a baby bass color. And I would sit there and I would cast out my stick bait let it sink for the longest time. And I had like one of those old Daiwa twitching reels. I don't know if you guys remember that, but they had like a little button on there. And all you need to do is just go, ch ch remember those? The Viento, the blue one, the blue one Viento. Yeah. I had the cheap one that broke and you just twitch it like that. And I used to catch so many fish, fishing with a OG five inch stick bait. What we're doing is the same thing that I was doing freaking over 10 years ago. That is throwing lunker logs, five inch lunker logs. It's the most effective way to get fish shallow. It's hard to fish super shallow water, like a foot of water. You, I mean, you can't really throw much in that scenario other than maybe like a plastic, and that's about it. So what we're doing right now is we are fishing. Look at that. My man is hooked up in the back. Proof in the pudding. Is it a good one? No, but it's a fun one. Hand him to me. You want to sniff him? <sighs> He's got a sniff. He's got his fix back in the water. But there's not too much you can fish in the shallows of these Texas waters or any waters for that matter. And one of the best ways to cover shallow waters like this that is adjacent to the deep water of the lake, which is like 20, 30 feet, is throw the little lunky log. We're wacky we're with them. Uh, Rackley brought his lunky log box. And in here, he's got a little tool that enables you to throw the lunker log without losing it so easily. The fish in here, they're powerful, they're strong, they thrash. And one great way to uh, make sure that they don't spit the hook is to slide a little rubber ring on there and you hook the rubber ring on a uh, size two, right? Size two or size one? Yeah, size one or two Guggen Gold Wacky Hook. I'll leave these linked down below. I know I keep saying that, but I want you guys to also have the knowledge and the and the means of purchasing this stuff for yourself. But that's all we're doing. And the Lunker Log Nice is because it has a slow rate of fall, so it takes a long time for that bait to hit the bottom, so it hangs in front of their fish. So it hangs in front of the fish's face for quite some time and that gives them a, a moment to kind of find that bait see it lock on eat it and they're very aggressive towards that bait for whatever reason today that's like one of the only ways we can catch them been throwing around the glide a good bit i have a lot of confidence in it it just isn't really getting them to commit we're watching them come up to the boat check the glide out doesn't mean it's not an effective lure it may not be effective today but that's the bread and butter throwing this on a seven foot Guggen gold uh, finesse rod you can use a 610, 68, anything that's like, you know, finesse and it's got a good tip where you can work it. It's not too stiff. 10 pound leader line. I like 10 pound. He's using 15, which is probably smarter because we are in Texas. There could be a, like a double digit up here. We just, you know, you never know. I'm using a uh, 10 pound connected to a uh, 10 pound braid. It's good to use fluorocarbon because that fish is gonna be visually looking at that lure and you wanna make sure it, it is as natural as it possibly can be. So small hooks, I like small hooks, lighter line, um, very finessey stuff and it's so much fun. Catching a big like fish, even like a three pound plus fish on spinning rod in a couple feet of water is like the dopest thing ever. But that's how we're catching them. Uh, just getting a little wacky with it, you know. A couple guys in the front of the boat, whacking it up. We're just, we're just whacking it. Um, nothing better. 
absolutely nothing better. Got a couple hours left in the day. Aunt Rackley unfortunately leaves this afternoon, but we are gonna continue to fish. I think this lake, we have the option to fish a couple bodies of water, but I think we're gonna stay here and see if we can get a real freak, you know, an eight pound plus fish, that'd be nice. Let's keep cranking though. That's a good one. Is that bigger than the last one? This is like a five, four for sure. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's a nice one. That's a good Themes are moving up, boys. The themes. End of the day. That's a good fish. So that's much a fun. Five. I think that's yeah, it's a five pounder dude. all day. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> oh, just up there in it between the reeds. It doesn't suck, man. It doesn't it, suck. It doesn't suck. This is just that time of year where it's like, just go to the bank. Yeah. Just go to the bank and flick a plastic around. That one's a lot fatter than it that one, a big one that you caught. Mm. I love it, man. I love to see it. Love to see you out here thriving. I, I am. I am in my element of springness right now. I've been waiting on this for a while. It's finally here, boys. Dust off the poles if you're not out there already. Get to dangling, because the big girls are moving up. <clears throat> oh, I love you so much, girl. Mm. Return you to the lake. Look at that big Good body. Fish. Good fish. Big five pound fish. Mm. Nicely done. Mm. It's been, oh, a, good, been a good trip. Dang. Literally, literally two days straight of just shallow fishing. It's so refreshing after a, a long Texas winter uh, of just kind of scrapping all that deep BS and just going up and beating the reeds, beating the bank, casting shallow, and getting five pounders out of a couple feet of water. It's the best, dude. It's the freaking best. Oh my God, instantly. Good one. Wow. Oh no! No. Good one. Big one. Sheila was up there. Dude, what the f is going on today? I'm not hitting them hard enough. Wait, 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 wait. Are you, are you clogged up? No, I think I'm good. Damn it, dude. She's still there. Oh, she hit it again. No way. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's on a bald spot? Good one. Good one. Oh, yeah. Not bad. Dude, up there. Ate it again. Dirt, dude. Ate it again, oh. dude. That is so stupid. This is like freaking oh, nice. northern Wisconsin, Door County, smallmouth bed fishing. My biggest today, probably. Oh, swallowed at that time. Jesus. I literally hooked this fish for a millisecond. He came back and ate it. Unless this is the fem this is the male and I hooked the female earlier, which would be scary. Good fish. I don't know if you guys saw that, we'll roll the whole clip, but hooked that fish once, came back and ate it. They're aggressive. <laughs> Get a slow release on this guy. <clears throat> yeah, I wonder if that maybe this is the male, I don't know. Later, bud. That was nuts. <clears throat> oh, that actually might be good. Oh yeah, it's a good one. That's a nice one. Ate it like a bluegill. Yeah, that's a nice one. That's a good one. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Dang, that's awesome. That's awesome, dude. Golly, they they fight so good in here, man. Woo! There you go. Four or five pounder. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love, dude. I love this lake. This lake is fun. That's a shallow water Gina. Shallow water Tina. I hammered him too. God. There we go. Man, I might go six. Oh, that's a good one, bro. That's a really nice It's a really good it one. It got bigger and bigger the closer it got to the boat. Oh my gosh. I thought it was a three pounder yeah. at first, dude. Look how he ate that. Look how he ate that lunker log, brother. <laughs> Oh, what a, I think Rackley's got to leave here in a little bit. And with that, I feel like it's a really good way to end the day is just finally get a nice big one like that. 
I'm gonna put them on the scale. Let's put together a little sack today. I know, dude. We probably had <clears throat> oh well over 20 pounds just be bopping around in the shallows. Traveled all the way to a new lake, rolled the dice a bit, started fresh, and uh, it's been a fun trip. Yesterday we probably caught well over 30 fish. Today, same scenario. This is probably my biggest fish of the trip. I'm gonna get a quick weight on her. I'm guessing she goes well over six. Just an amazing specimen. Beautiful freaking spawner bass. Just blindly casting on the bank. Feels good. <laughs> you wanna guess again? 714. Oh my gosh. Seven pounder on a freaking lunker log, wacky style. I think Caleb and I are gonna spend the night here. I was thinking about going home, but the fishing's been so good. And we might find some more fish about this size tomorrow. I'm gonna give her another drink and send her back on her bed. 714, baby. <clears throat> Almost a freaking eight, dude. Literally two ounces shy of being eight pounds. That is crazy. That's my biggest shallow water fish of the year. Came in a foot. That'll get your heart pumping. <laughs> what a freaking way to end day number two. <clears throat> no better person to spend time out in the water with than Rackley. Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely. Yeah, I get that one. Just one more. Just one more. Yeah, I'll, I'll re-up you. This man is a legend. I've got a freaking boat full of gear. But what I don't have is lunker logs. Probably because last time I was fishing with them, we ran we ran all the way through them. I think, matter of fact, the last time we were fishing lunker logs was on, on Falcon, and we went through quite a few, and I just never re-upped after that. But even someone like me, owner of the company, doesn't even have freaking lunker logs. But Rackley does. Brother, it's always a pleasure. I don't think we've ever had a bad trip yet. Have we? No. Even if the fishing sucks, it's not a bad trip. It's, it's about the hangle, like you said. The hangle. The hangle. <laughs> but we're catching them's fun, too. Yeah, man, that's, that's the cherry on top. Yeah. But you be safe. You guys catch them in Florida, and uh, Caleb and I are going to continue the endeavor. Now that I think some of these big fish are moving up, we're going to see if we can rack, rack a 30 sack tomorrow. I'll keep you posted. Let me know. When you're on the plane in first class sipping a uh, Tito's and uh, orange juice, yeah. I'll be sending you some pics <laughs> via wi Air American Airlines Wi-Fi. Yeah, I think I'm flying Spirit. <laughs> So Google booked me on Spirit, so. Oh, really? Actually? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, times are tough. Buy some longer logs. <laughs> Stay tuned, wieners. Catch some bigs. <laughs> Absolutely, Absolutely atrocious way to start the day. No breakfast this morning. Just had some peanuts. And now I'm sucking on a white monster energy. This is straight. Punch a hole through a drywall fuel. Had a bit of a rough night last night. Uh, stayed up a little too late. We watched I Am Legend. That was fun. Uh, we were kind of celebrating too because we had a really good day of fishing the day previously. But today's a new day and we gotta, we gotta do better. My goal for today, I think, is we're gonna try to crack a cool, dirty 30. A 30 pound sack. That is like everyone's main goal when they go out in the water. Even for the northern guys, it's possible, it's difficult, but it's possible. But down, down here in the south, cracking a dirty 30 is, uh, is not something that you can't do. It's very attainable. So we're gonna try to do that. We came very close yesterday. We're gonna see if we can make it happen. But for now, I'm trying to get the grog off by, I don't know, consuming at least a little bit of caffeine. Sadly, this is our last day camping out of the giant camper. We got a bid for well, head back up to DFW and uh, plan another fishing trip. Hopefully you guys like these kind of videos. They're not as creative and long form as some of the other ones, but if you enjoy just straight up bass fishing and you just want to see us go out there and crank on some fish, maybe learn a couple things that you can apply to your home waters, then these are the videos for you. Very nonchalant, as you can see. Like, I mean, this is my intro. Hey, I'm drinking a monster. Like, cool, dude, nice. The boat's looking absolutely atrocious. We're gonna rig up a couple rods and head over to some spots and see if we can get some bacons. Trying to catch a double digit, trying to get 30 pounds. See if we make it happen. Today's forecast, overcast, the chance of some biggins. We'll just jump right there. Let's go. How big? 12.4. 12 12.4. 12 How are you annoyed? Oh, is it just off the lake record? Tenth away from the lake record. No, sh man. Congrats, though. That's awesome. Holy. <laughs> Damn. Well, I just gotta get a bigger one now. <laughs> well, we just launched the boat. This is the kind of stuff that you can't like really script or control in your videos. But uh, we just launched the boat, and there's two other guys over there. 
And um, the guy was up there weighing a fish. We noticed he was holding a big fish, and I was like, damn, that's a pretty nice one. Uh, he comes down and I ask him how big it was. And he's like, I'm pretty annoyed. I'm like, why is that? Why are, we, why are you annoyed? It looks like you got a big one. He said, uh, I caught a 12 pounder, but it's just shy of the lake record. So we almost saw a lake record fish today. That's nuts. Oh my gosh, dude. There we go. All right, that gives me, dude, what, seeing someone weigh in a 12 pounder, <clears throat> like first thing in the morning is enough to get you a little bit like shaky. We fished this like yesterday, first time ever fishing it. And Rackley and I put together I think it was like 27 pounds of bass, which is insane for a best five on a new lake. I caught a seven, he caught a six, we caught a, a couple fives and a four. Um, I mean, that fish right there is just about half of our bag yesterday with one bite. It's crazy. We did have a huge storm that rolled in last night. It was going cr absolutely nuts. It was blowing 40, raining sideways, but it only lasted 30 minutes. I wonder if that got them kind of out of a funk because there was a lot of fish yesterday that just weren't eating. That looked big. So. Today's video, we're just gonna see if we can uh, catch a freak in nature. I still have yet to catch a double digit this season. <clears throat> I haven't been fishing as much as I have previous years, but no excuses. Gotta fish hard and crank them. Why, why is there on my hands right now? Why do I have poop on my hands? Where, where did that come from? I don't know if it's dog human shit. What the, f someone, someone like playing a prank with me and put shit in my boat? You see that? Did I shit? I don't know what I just touched in the front of my boat, but there was poop on it, and I have poop on my hands right now. This is the most insane way to start the morning. I got a backlash, and I got poop on my hands, but I'm, I, don't, I don't, I know it's a lot, and I don't know where it came from. I sniffed it, and I'm like, that's, I mean, you can just tell it's poop. But I don't know how the hell there'd be poop on my boat. This is craziness. I wonder if it was, was it the reel? No, there's no shit on the reel. That's insane. Okay, well, I'm gonna go throw up. I wonder if someone poop dollared me last night. <laughs> One of you guys that doesn't like me fishing your freaking lakes probably put poop in my boat. That's insane, yeah, it's not coming off. That's really gross. I'm gonna go up, throw up now. Luckily, I carry some H&R Block hand sanitizer in my boat for rare occasions such as this, in case I get poop on my hands. That was a, this is like a fever dream moment. I have no idea why. I grab my swim bait rod and poop exits the swim bait rod and lands on my hands. Yeah, I think I'm poop free. Come on. Well, perspective mode is sick. Yeah, that was crazy. I just flipped right on this bass's head. <clears throat> cool beans. First fish of the day. It's not a 12 pounder, but it is a 12 incher. We're gonna we're gonna really try to sack him today. I'm just gonna fish hard, move around a ton, look for look for areas where I think big fish would. would specifically be yesterday we fished just kind of where bass would be in general but big fish are very particular where they like to set up this spot right here that we're in looks very big fishy but they're nowhere to be found unfortunately just little guys there's one little guy little buck looking for a fat female a lot fewer bites today but i'm also Switching things up. I'm trying to look for that big girl. I don't want to really mess around with a bunch of little males today. Looking for one big bite. Actually, five big bites. See you, Stanky. Later, Stanky. Oh, there's one. Not bad. Decent one. Better than average. A little two pounder, I finally found one. <clears throat> Man, it's been a really slow start. But I've had days where I don't catch a single fish within the first four hours and there in the afternoon, things really pick up. We've relocated and found some cleaner water, which I think helps a ton, especially this time of year. Finding clean water is definitely key. Look at that. It's not like they're not eating. That fish absolutely choked the old lunky. <sighs> I thought it was a big one when it bit. There we go. Lunky is out. Bass is safe. Thank you, little bud. Looking for the big one that's paired up with this little guy. Say ya. So I figured it wasn't probably gonna stay. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. It's a nice one. 
Oh, it looked way bigger in the water. Still a good fish. Jump. There he goes. Two fish back here. Probably the same one I just freaking released. Okay, figuring them out a little bit. Just had to find that cleaner water. We spent a lot of time up the river and I don't think that was the move. Um, I'm sure there's fish up there and probably some good ones. A lot of big fish like to move up the river first, but I just have more confidence fishing this clean water right off of the uh, main lake. I mean, it's like 30 feet of water right there. So any fish that was out deep in the wintertime is gonna be able to push up here with ease. Like these fish could be moving up like as we speak. Nice bass though, we'll take him. On the lunky, I love the lunky. See you bud, thank you for biting. Oh. Please be decent. It's going deep. Oh yeah, it's a decent one. Yep, that's the right one, homie. That's the right one. Oh my God, that's an absolute giant, dude. This is an absolute giant. This is my biggest fish in a long time. I don't know how big this is, Caleb. This might be a freak. I'm not even kidding, this might be a freak. This might be a freak. Oh my gosh, dude. We got her. Oh my God, it's a giant, dude. Don't do that, 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 don't do that. Why does she want to go under the boat? Oh my God, there she is. That's a pig, she's tangled. I got her. Oh, it looked way bigger in the water, but that's still probably like a seven. <laughs> that is the bite we've been after, man. Look at that stud. Woo! Lunky, right where she needs to be. <laughs> we just made a little bit of adjustment. I was trying something new. Yesterday we fished a lot of this under the lake and uh, it looks good and we obviously caught fish but I'm always like I always fall victim to like thinking there's greener pasture so we explored some new stuff today and uh, it didn't work out so we just revisited a, a uh, similar pattern to yesterday and that might be, that might be close to freaking that's high seven so we're gonna get her on the scale and uh, see how big she is <laughs> regardless such a gnarly fight dude these fish go hard in here Ooh, let's go baby I'm gonna get a weight on old girl I'm gonna guess high sevens Caleb thinks eight. Oh, sh you're right, cuz. Eight, two. <laughs> it's my, uh, I think my third or fourth eight pounder of the, of the year. And it's fishing for, it's fishing for an eight the fun way too. Up shallow, not scoping, just beating the freaking bank on a spinning rod. Let her breathe a bit underneath the water. You can just tell how much cleaner the water is over here. I don't know if you guys got a good perspective of where we've been fishing, but it's just too dirty. This clean water holds a lot of fish and they just feel more comfortable moving up in this end. We had a nasty storm last night, so it muddied up that water. Good bass, good, good, good bass. Thank you so much for biting. Oh, that is such a nice fish. <sighs> Caleb, put her there. Yesterday, you know, was amazing. But I think today has major potential as well. I don't think it's gonna get any worse as the day goes on. I think it's gonna get even better. Um, this is the time of year where like literally you could start off slow like we did and then just progressively build up a freaking giant sack of fish um, because these fish are like where the boat's at right now. They feel that warm water. They make that huge push and they start spawning. They're on the cusp right now. Like they haven't been spawning for very long. And that fish, if I had to guess, probably wasn't even on a bed. He was that she, I shouldn't say she. Sorry, I don't mean to misgender that bass. But she was probably uh, just looking for a good spot to squat and Find a nice little scrawny male and dump her eggs for the uh, life cycle of largemouth bass. I'm jittery, that felt so good. I thought it was a freaking double for a second when it came up. But we're not done, so maybe we'll get another one. <laughs> Did he message me? Oh my gosh, nice one. Nice one, nice one. Right? No, not crazy big, but a fish. Oh my gosh, not a bad one. Three pounder. Three pounder. I thought it was on grass. Man, they they are very uh, aggressive once you do find them. It just seems like they're way more scattered today. But the average size is um, not as good. There's a decent one. A lot of little ones mixed in with every now and then a decent bite. I'd call that a decent bite, probably high twos. Fun fighting fish. Hell yeah. Just grinding, looking for that real big one. 
See ya. See ya, buddy. Thanks for biting. That was a girl fish, by the way. I, I, I didn't. I didn't kiss a guy fish. <clears throat> I don't know what the f going on with my GoPro. Like, it's just, oh my God. Begging, begging, giant, 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 10 pounder. <laughs> Not really, but it's a good one. <laughs> Any 10, I just, I just wanna, I wanna hook into a fish and just know it's a 10. That's my thing right now. I've caught, a, I've caught, like literally a couple tens enough to count on my hand but i've never caught one doing this and i really want to get a double digit not even a 10 i just want a double digit i don't care if it's 10 or 11. 11 would be nice 12 would be even better i just i just want to know i will say that fish bit just like the eight that we caught earlier although this is not an eight pounder it is a good one though it's a very nice fish it's the right caliber this time of year if you're getting bigger fish up shallow generally they're look at that thing it's going generally speaking they're going to be females um, I don't know why, I don't know what that is. Like in the world of animalia, usually the bucks are bigger than the does. Um, and the turkeys, are, the turkey toms are bigger than the, the females, but bass wise, the, uh, the bass with the vaginers are usually a little bit bigger. I don't know if bass have vaginers, but they got something, they got whatever that is. That's a good bass, dude, <clears throat> probably close to, Probably close to five. Should we find out real quick? Guess who's getting the last beer in the uh, camper? <laughs> five eight. <laughs> five pounder, baby. That's a good fish. It's a quality bass. We're gonna get her right back in the water so she can uh, do the dirty and spawn for us anglers here in Texas. What a beaut. Such a fat one though. Like girth from top to bottom. That's a really nice fish. Yeah, short bass. These fish are not very long, they're just healthy and girthed up. They're down there doing this, they're wobbling. Nice, that was a main lake dock. I think the main lake program's the deal. Every time I go into a cut, I don't get bites, but as soon as I come out, come back around to a little point or a little dock where there's some rocks and some grass and gravel, big one, chews. Feels good, we're about at the dam, so we're running out of docks. Let's um, run the docks again. I watched him eat it, that was so cool. Oh, not a bad one. Whoa, buddy. Buddy, nice three pounder, nice three pounder, doing ap acrobatics, man, decent fish. I haven't caught as, I haven't caught a ton today, but they've all been quality. Come here, buddy. Oh, yeah. High twos, high twos, low, low threes. Oh man, choked it. Hell yeah, that was cool. Watch that one eat on the scope, dude. Caught him on the scope. It is cool watching him eat a freaking weightless worm on live scope, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not trying to do too much of it, but these deeper fish down there are, are hungry for the uh, wacky, so I'm trying to balance out a bit of shallow fishing with deep fishing. Thanks, bud. You. This is big. This is it's big. It is big. Oh god, it is big. Nice day under right here. Nice day under fish right here. What the heck? I haven't gotten a bite in like almost two hours. And all of a sudden I just feel a little tick on my line. And it's Gertha. It's Nadine. <laughs> Look at that, dude. That's nuts. Oh, jumped again. It's a good fish. The clouds and the wind rolled in. It kind of shut the bite down for me personally, and uh, well, the big ones are still wanting to eat, I guess. <clears throat> They're just few and far between. Okay, you're done. You're done. I'm going to grab you. You're done. I'm going to grab you. Six pounder, maybe? Six pounder, maybe? If I can get her in. Oh, look at, not a very fat fish, but has a huge head. Whew. Probably another five. High fives. Well, guys. I think we're gonna end the day on this fish. What an incredible trip this has been. Every day for the past three days out here in Texas, we've uh, we've averaged roughly 
freaking 20 to 30 fish, well over mid 20 pounds. And we're catching bass like this. Cannot freaking complain. Long fish, just not very fat. We're gonna throw them on the scale regardless. This has been so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. This is just all about fishing right now. It's March in Texas. We could be filming some kind of creative stuff and we will, we're not done. We're definitely gonna do some series and some interesting videos here and there, but for now, gotta focus on these girls because it is freaking on. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like the video, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. As always, folks, keep fishing. Never stop. Go get big, go get bigger. Put some fat on your gills. Mm.